friends in this video we are going to solve a problem based on the measurement of high resistance using loss of charge method so let us start with our problem so our question is that a cable is tested by the loss of charge method using a ballistic galvanometer with the following results so uh, the loss of charge method it is used for measuring the high resistances or we can say the insulation resistance of the cable they can be measured using this loss of charge method so the indications are given by the ballistic galvanometer or we can say the readings are indicated by the uh, galvanometer so when the discharged immediately after the electrification means when the capacitor it is discharged immediately after the electrification the deflection is 200 divisions and when the discharging is done after 30 seconds of electrification deflection is 126 divisions so this is the difference that when the uh, capacitor it is discharged immediately the division is uh, the deflection on the galvanometer is 200 divisions and when the capacitor is discharged after 30 seconds the indications or the deflection of the galvanometer is 126 divisions after that when in uh, parallel with the resistance of 10 uh, mega ohm the deflection is 100 divisions means when the unknown resistance or the insulation resistance is in parallel with the 10 mega ohm resistance the deflection on the galvanometer is 100 divisions so using all these informations we have to calculate the insulation resistance of the cable so let us uh, try to solve this problem First of all, we will draw the circuit for the loss of charge method. So it will be easy for us to understand this. So this is the circuit for the loss of charge method here R is the insulation resistance of the cable which we want to find out. G is the ballistic galvanometer which is giving us the measurement of the voltage across the unknown resistance. Now C is the capacitor, so it is also measuring the voltage across this capacitor. Now when this switch is closed, this voltage is provided to the capacitor and the unknown resistance. So this capacitor will be charged to some voltage that is called the electrification. And when this switch is open, the capacitor it is going to discharge. So this charging voltage it is also indicated by this ballistic galvanometer and discharging voltage it is also indicated by the uh, galvanometer okay. So in the question we are given that when the electrification means when the uh, galvanometer it is discharged it is charged to the voltage the deflection on the galvanometer is 200 divisions and discharge after 30 seconds of the electrification the deflection is 126 divisions so earlier the voltage is 200 and after the discharging the voltage is 126 and the time taken of this discharging is 30 seconds okay and the value of the capacitor is not given to us and r is not given to us so we are using the formula uh, of the loss of charge method where the insulation resistance of the cable is given by the formula R equals to 0 0.4343 T upon C 
log to the base 10 capital V by small v. Okay. Here T is the time taken for the discharging. C is the value of the capacitor, the capacitance value. And capital V is the voltage up to which the capacitor is charged. And small v is the uh, value of the voltage after the discharging of the capacitor. So here all the variables are known to us. R and C are not known. So we are going to get the value of R in terms of C. So here 0 0.4343 then multiplied with the time. So time here is 30 seconds. Then C log to the base 10. Earlier the divisions on the ballistic galvanometer is 200. After that it is 126. So we will have 200 divided by 126. Okay. So the value of R is 0 0.4343 into 30 C and then the value of this log to the base 10 200 by 126 when we calculate this it is equal to 0 0.201 and then C. So this is the value of the insulation resistance of the cable. Now in the second part we are given that uh, when this uh, insulation resistance it is connected in parallel with the resistance of 10 mega ohm then the deflection is 100 divisions okay earlier it was 126 now when uh, 10, 10 mega ohm resistance is connected the divisions has changed it is 100 so suppose that let r dash be the equivalent resistance of parallel combination between the insulation resistance and the 10 mega ohm resistance. So as this R dash it is the equivalent resistance so R dash will be equal to because it is the parallel combination of the insulation resistance and 10 mega ohm resistance so it will be R into 10 mega ohm upon R plus 10 that will be the value of the equivalent resistance okay. Now when this resistance is connected and uh, the discharging and charging of the capacitor is done so at that time the voltage has changed from 200 divisions to 100 divisions okay. So at this time the value of R dash will become 0 0.4343 then T upon C log to the base 10 capital V is 200 and small v is 100. So T is again 30 seconds here. So R dash is equals to 0 0.4343 into 30 upon calculating this log to the base 10 200 by 100. So we can say it is log to the base 10 into uh, log to the base 10 of 2. So calculating its value it will be 0 0.301 C. So this is the value of R dash. Okay. Now if we take the ratio of this R dash and this R. Okay. R dash is the equivalent resistance and R is the insulation resistance. So taking their ratio R dash upon R is equals to its value is 0 0.4343 into 30 upon 0 0.301 C and R value is 0 0.4343 into 30 upon 0 0.201 C. So this will be cancelled. C will also be cancelled and R dash upon R is equals to because it is in uh, uh, denominator so its reciprocal will be there so 0 0.201 upon 0 0.301 so this is the ratio of r dash upon r when we calculate this 
r dash upon r will be equals to 0 0.667 or we can say r dash is equals to 0 0.667 of r okay now because r dash it is the equivalent resistance of the parallel combination of the insulation resistance and the 10 mega ohm resistance so we have written its value as r into 10 upon r plus 10 so r dash value is 0 0.667 substituting it in that formula 667 r is equals to r into 10 upon r plus 10 okay so when we solve this we will get the value of when we are multiplying this what we will get 0 0.667 r multiplied with r plus 10 equals to 10 r okay so it will be 0 0.667 r square plus 0 0.667 multiplied with 10 into r minus 10r equals to 0. So through this we can find out the value of r which will come out to be 5 mega ohm. Okay. So this is the insulation resistance of the cable which we want to find out using the loss of charge method. So here first of all we have uh, given that uh, in the question we are given that the capacitor it is charged to the voltage 200 divisions after that discharging is done in 30 seconds and the voltage will be now 126 now insulation resistance and a 10 mega ohm resistance they are in parallel with each other again the same measurements are done 200 divisions was the voltage reading after that the discharging the reading is 100 divisions so using this information and using the formula r equals to 0 0.4343 t divided by c log to the base 10 capital v by small v so using that formula we have calculated the value of the insulation resistance of the cable so in this way any problem which is based on the measurement of the uh, unknown resistance of an insulation uh, insulation resistance of a cable we can use this way you we can use this method for finding that value so i hope that this problem is clear to you thank you